I am Meg Ormiston, and I am proud to present this professional development module to you. We will do this in a fun, uh, light way, but you will learn so much in this time that we'll have together. I am an author of a number of books. I'm a keynote speaker. I present all over. I am a former classroom teacher and a former school board member. I also participate in many professional learning communities, and everything I do is about being practical and having fun while learning. So enjoy the module. What are Web 2.0 tools? That's what we're going to find out in this module. And when you hear the term Web 2.0, that means the read-write web, the collaborative web that invites people to interact. And there's all different sites within uh, this Web 2.0 world. And more and more and more come out every single day. It's really hard to keep up with everything. I'm going to just going to give you an overview. And then in each of the following modules, we'll be digging in uh, a little deeper into each of these kind of categories of these Web 2.0 tools. So when you hear Web 2.0, imagine Web 1.0 was, wow, we have a website. Look at the information. Don't interact with us. Maybe there's an email link, but there's no chatting, communication, Twittering, that kind of thing, because that's Web 2.0 when you invite that collaboration. So 1.0, yay, we have a, a bulletin board. Now let's interact. So that's what this whole module is going to be about. Just finished uh, the book on it. I wrote the book on it, and it just came out a few weeks ago. And it's called Creating a Digital Rich Classroom, Teaching and Learning in a Web 2.0 World. And it was funny because I didn't really want Web 2.0 on my cover because, like, in the world of techie geeks that I live in, that term is, like, overused. Like, okay, but people are already moving on to Web 3.0 in their mind. But it, it is a good term to classify this group of tools that can be used uh, for collaborate, collaborative learning. Okay, I love this site. This is very humbling for me. Every time I go to visit this GoToWeb2.0 uh, site, I just look at the opening page and I realize I have never heard of any of these. So it just gives you an idea that these sites change. They're different. Every time I do a presentation on Web 2.0 stuff, I have different tools. So you'll see me Six months from now, I'll be like, oh, that was so yesterday, because these tools really do change. So I'm showing you just my, my perennial favorites uh, for specifically for education. A lot of these are for your personal life. They're, a lot of them become apps for phones and things like that. But I'm going to pick out just my favorites for, um, for you. And creating a personal learning network using Twitter. Now, when I talk about this, people are like, oh, Twitter is such a waste of time. What did you do? I'm taking the dog for a walk. That is not at all how I use Twitter. I use Twitter as my number one source of personal professional development. This is how I keep track of all of those crazy Web 2.0 tools. By using Twitter, I get updates and everything kind of flows to me 140 characters at a time. I love it. It works it's just works with my brain. And if you have more to say than your 140 characters, then what happens is you can make a link to something else. And so we're going to be digging in. There's an entire module just on Twitter, so you'll learn lots more about it. But I don't use it for telling me what you had for lunch. I use it for educational technology. I not only give to my network, I ask my network for help. And this was one question that somebody asked in one of my sessions, and I said, hmm, I know but I can't think of it. You know, you hit a certain age, you can't retrieve those things. Well, luckily I have Twitter. And so I just went out instantly, four or five, maybe even up to 10 sites. Did you try this? Did you try this? Did you try this? And that's exactly what I need in my life. So you'll really enjoy our Twitter module for digging in. I'll also teach you how to use it as a, an engine for PR for your school. All right. Web 2.0 tools for social networking. We're going to talk about that now. The term social networking is not bad. We've always been fo so social networking. Since we're in caves, we were social people. So it's not a bad thing. It's just some middle school girls tend to use Facebook inappropriately. Okay, not just girls. All right, you're going to find out the fastest growing group of on uh, Facebook is 55 and older trying to keep up with their kids and their grandkids. You're going to learn about Edmodo, which is kind of a gated, safe community. And then we're going to find out about um, LinkedIn and Ning. So these are some platforms that are available for you, either to use with your colleagues, use for professional development, 
or use um, with your students in your class. So we'll be learning about social networking. I'm excited. I, I love multimedia and I crave multimedia. And I think that uh, so do our students. Their brains grew up on all this stuff and we need to make sure that we provide them with multimedia tools. And one of, look at, these are just a few that we're going to be covering. And um, I hope that you have not wordled before because you'll be wordling and learning all those things along with creating a new image on Image Chef and finding images on Flickr. Productivity, these tools, lots of these tools, I've kind of sifted through for you and found the ones that will really help you be more productive, more efficient. And a few of those are going to be um, School Town. I'm excited to tell you about School Town. It's a new, that's relatively new, and I could not teach without School Town. So that's, that's that. I love Evernote, and Evernote has so uh, many uses in the classroom for teaching and learning, and Delicious keeps track of my bookmarks. And so that's really important. And, well, so I also use Wikispaces for that, too. So you'll learn all about that. And the future is video. And bottom line, that's where we are right now. And these are a few of the sites that we're going to investigate. Now, we're not only going to talk about video, we're also going to talk about using a webcam in the classroom. And so we'll be really diving in and, and really uh, showing you how to use that powerful tool that you may already have staring at you on your computer. So when you complete this unit, you will have a really good understanding of what Web 2.0 tools are, and you will be able to use some of my very favorite ones.